Now, today is the first of many shows where we talk about the world's loudest month because there's so many festivals going on in May. This weekend, we're all about Carolina Rebellion for all of our listeners here on the East Coast. Now, of course, this is a huge, huge kickoff to the world's loudest month. Seven Dust, of course, my guest co-host is playing here. The 10th time for LJ to co-host The Rock Countdown. It's been a while, man. It's been like four years. In fact, last time you were on the show, you were doing that acoustic and an evening with Seven Dust Tour. So welcome back. It's Carolina Rebellion weekend, man. And I'm so happy to be sitting here on your tour bus just looking at all these people walk by. Absolutely. It's uh, great to talk to you and to talk about this. this uh, it's going to be good. It's a good energy going on, too. Uh, Seven Dust, you know, we have the new album coming out May 11th. So uh, we do 18 headline shows in existing with all the festivals, including Carolina Rebellion from Rock Fest to you name it, we're going to be out there, and it's, it's really fun. We're going to try to make the drive up to Rocklahoma, too. I think oh, you yeah. guys are playing Rocklahoma. I believe so. I, I know we're doing a lot of them. It's our big Carolina Rebellion special this weekend as we kick off the world's loudest month still to come. Rock on the Range, Rocklahoma, Rock Fest, many, many great festivals, and Carolina Rebellion on the East Coast this weekend for our listeners here. Now, L.J. Witherspoon from Seven Dust is with me, and I saw this documentary recently. It's called Elvis Presley, The Searcher on HBO, and it really talks about how he reflects how he was moved by music, not only by the blues bars that he saw in Memphis, but what he witnessed in church. Now, LJ, you grew up in the South. I grew up in the South. I was totally relating to this documentary. So what were some of your earliest influences growing up in the South? Uh, and was it uh, a church involved as well? Absolutely. And I watched that special you're talking about. Yeah, too, it's and it's kind of the same growing up for me. That was the first uh, introduction to uh, music was church. Right. Uh, you know, going up was Baptist. And, you know, I, I remember still to this day, I couldn't wait to sing in the choir, but I was too young because none of the robes would fit me, but I would always <laughs> go past the robe closet and be like, oh, my God, it's red and it's gold lapels. Yeah. And they get to wear that. And, and if you're really good in the choir, you get to wear the white one with the red and the gold. And <laughs> that, to me, was exciting. So I knew even at a child that, that the entertaining part of it was something that I wanted to do. And I finally made it into the choir in the church, and that was fun, and, and that wasn't enough. And I got in school and I was in choir in school. Chorus is what they called it in school. And that was fun and that wasn't enough. And they were like, well, then you might want to do show choir. And I was like, what's that? And then I went to a thing where they saw and I was like, they're dancing and stuff. Too. I was yeah, like, no, that's not exact. I said, that's a little. <laughs> and I didn't like the song. So and then I got in a band in high school. And that's when I was like, wow. But my father, the introduction to that, he was in a disco band. Okay. And so I would get to see him rehearse. I would get to go to, uh, to sound checks and I still, he, freaks out i can remember the smell the uh the furniture the candles and uh the, the, the you know this the whole energy of him playing music and what it was like so that's that was my introduction man i was wow. a lot of music around it's the world's loudest month it kicks off with carolina rebellion where we are enjoying some great music today and we're on the tour bus with none other than lejean witherspoon of seven dust now we've got your new song right here it's called dirty we want to talk about it a little bit before we uh before we play it today the album all i see is war so uh why was this one selected as the lead off track this is one of the first songs that was written we went to atlanta and me morgan and john got together and put this song together and uh uh I, I feel good about it because for the first time in a long time we were able to let a team come in and police us being rise records and some other people and uh kind of you see you know you guys pick what you think should be and dirty was one of the first songs that said that we think this would be great to represent what's going on and and i and i agreed you know and, and i have to think it's it's really cool to have someone come in and look over and because we could be the worst you know and i <laughs> i think every song should be a single you know right, so right. uh it, it, it's it's cool and i can't wait to to share the next single and i feel like this album has more than one you know i think it has a i think we can go deep with this this weekend in charlotte north carolina it is the carolina rebellion so many bands playing here today including my guest co-host seven dust lj witherspoon the vocalist is here hanging out with with me and of course the new album coming out on may 11th called all i see is war and you guys actually signed a new record deal with rise records now look lj you've seen so many changes in the music industry so what does this deal mean for you compared to your previous deals in regards to continuing to move forward with your career it's incredible i never thought that they were still signing bands in this day <laughs> and uh, for us to get courted by several uh 
labels was so fun and uh it's like trying to pick a girlfriend and who's, right. who's gonna be the coolest yeah but you know what to be honest rise Records seemed like it was gonna be the best partnership and it's been great to work with them so far uh it's awesome to have a team that cares about you to take you down an avenue that not necessarily we were going to be able to do just with seven, you know, dust by ourselves. Uh, I really feel like they have their finger on the social media world. Uh, with that being said, we've released two videos and I think uh, maybe one of them all has over two million views already. Wow. That's something that we've never done before. That's so awesome. it's, it's really amazing to see them work behind the band. Uh, and I look forward to seeing what's going to happen in the future with Rise Records. And I, it's been really fun to to have correspondence, to have emails, and uh, to really have a team. The tenth appearance from L.J. Witherspoon of Seven Dust hanging out. Now, when you guys started many years ago, I mean, what what has it been like? Twenty one years you guys have been together. I think it's twenty one now. Twenty one. We we're just trying to figure that out because I was in New York doing press over the weekend uh, of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And yeah. Everyone's talking about it. Like you guys are twenty twenty five years. You. You'll be ready to get submitted or whatever. You <laughs> might not ever make it, but that's really cool that Four you know years, to, man. to think that you know we've been together that long and I don't see us breaking up now. So you know, uh, hopefully we'll make that feat one day. It'll be what a, what a pleasure. Well, you know, speaking of which, uh, you guys have always talked about the true meaning of family uh, being your mm -hmm. you know your your natural family, your wives and kids, and they come on the road with you. So obviously, you've always had the band family, but. When you bring the kids and the and the wives and everything, what is that like to you now, twenty years later, after you were were that twenty one year old kid? Amazing, back because I remember one day back in the day, actually talking to the band and saying, "Wouldn't it be cool if we were together long enough to have kids and wives and <laughs> and have them out on the road with yeah. us?" And it happens now. Now. With that being said, the last time my wife rode on the bus with me, she said, "No disrespect to you guys, but I'll never, ever." ride on the tour bus again once yeah, so <laughs> it's what she used to when she was younger you know and now you know I, but I remember the last time she rode on the bus with me she was like uh can I have my own bunk scoot over I was like what what happened to the days of cuddling yes exactly we can't oh we yeah can exactly, bunk, exactly. she's like uh can I have my own bunk no no I was kidding but no you know no they still come out and hang out especially if it's a close ride yeah and the kids oh my god they love it you can't keep them out of the bunk areas and you know they it's like going watch. on a camping oh yeah trip, exactly and that's so it's funny I'm getting ready to get an RV really oh yeah so but that's something that's been always something I wanted to do so we're in the business of looking at those now you would think being on the bus most of your life the last Last thing you would want is a freaking RV. You would think, and my <laughs> RV is getting themed after a bus. I'm gonna have bunk area for the kids. Nice. I'm gonna do the back lounge and you know kind of keep it true to a bus form. But yeah, it's, right. you would think. But I'm, I'm I'm that kind of guy, man. I'm like, listen, we got an RV. We, we're going down to the Target parking lot and grilling out. <laughs> Perfect for tailgating, man. I love it. Exactly, man. Hey, it's L.A. Lloyd, another band who's got an album coming out on May 11th. That's my guest co-host Seven Dust. Their album All I See Is War will be available for. Yes, and make sure you get it on the day it is released. You're going to love it. In fact, we're about to debut a new song from that album. But before we do, I wanted to talk to you about the final track listing on the album. Now, from what I heard, you had about 50 songs to choose from. So <laughs> that is a huge challenge, man. So what were you looking for in each of these songs when you started making the final selections? Well, you know, the only reason it was that many songs is because we decided constantly as a band to take off a year and a half. Mm -hmm. So, of course... With this type of band, we all write at our homes and everyone kind of submits stuff to each other, and blah, 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 you know. So when it was time to go into Elvis, poor Elvis had a band that was on hiatus, you know, and it was like, here, this is what you got to work with. And But even with that being said, we picked several songs and then we still went in and wrote new ones because mm -hmm. the energy was just uh, good. Let's see what we come up with, you know, and uh, that's how it worked. Uh, but it's fun. It's just like it's the same feeling I get when it's time to do a tour and we have over a million songs and what do you put in the set you right. know and so it's like some guys say that song's good and another guy says that song sucks and i never want to play it again in my entire life <laughs> and then we laugh at each other and so I never want to play that song either. <laughs> that song's never getting played again. Let's go. This weekend, we kick off the world's loudest month, celebrating Carolina Rebellion in Charlotte, North Carolina. So many bands playing here, including Seven Dust, who's on the rock countdown for their 10th appearance today. LJ hanging out with me. The new album, All I See Is War, coming out next week on May 11th. Elvis Basquette. Your producer, you got to stay at his beautiful home. You worked your asses off. I think I read where, like, the only time you even left the house was uh, was to go out to a McDonald's or something. Yeah, yeah, that was our outing. It was, <laughs> man, you didn't want to leave Elvis's house. It was uh, that beautiful. And the night I flew in from New York, uh, and he said, "Would you, you know, we got an Airbnb down the street, and you know, it's got the pool and everything." And 
beautiful home too. And he said, would you like to stay here? And I said, Mm. Absolutely, <laughs> the big house. Yeah, we're gonna stay here. And then uh, the, the the studio was themed after the haunted mansion, so it was just really like going wow. into a different world. You know, mm. candle operas out in the walls, and this beautiful velvet design, and the, the the furniture was gothic. You know, stuff that you just don't see. You know, gold and just really fun and exciting to go wow. in. And it, it was like you know, it was cool to work in an environment like that. And uh, the house is beautiful. We cooked, we uh, we ate together, you know, we worked 12 hour days and then at the end of the day, end up in the hot tub or grilling out, you know, or having a drink. And it was just, a, it was, it, it was a sp- experience like no other. Seven Dots co-hosting the L.A. Lloyd Rock Countdown. LJ is here for his 10th time and you guys are still kind of in the early stages of the tour supporting the brand new album, All I See Is War. So how much time does it take to kind of get prepared to get back on the road and, and bring it like you do every night? Good question, man. You know, I do a lot of working out, a lot of the gym, a lot of listening to music. Uh, I don't know. You know, we so before this, we just actually played a show. It wasn't a uh, KUPD 420 mm-hmm. Festival, yeah. like I said, 420, and uh, it was with us, Five Finger Death Punch, Jonathan Davis, wow. uh, and it was cool, and then Bad Wolves, yeah. the new band, Tommy Vex and those guys. So that was a, it was exciting to get back out in front of that many people. So uh, uh, that put, I, I guess for me, getting back out on the road, then I get in mode again. So that put me in mode, thrown in front of 20, 30,000, and uh, then continue this tour. I mean, I'm, I'm ready now. I feel, you know, even though I got my tennis shoes on, I put my boots on, I'm ready to rock. <laughs> <laughs> Our Carolina Rebellion Weekend special here. Seven Dust is playing the big event, and they have a new album called All I See Is War coming out on May 11th. And it has to be difficult, Lejean, not to have the negativity that surrounds us every day be reflective when you're crafting these new songs. So tell me about the album, All I See Is War, and, and what that means to you. Yeah, so I think with the, the title, I necessarily I don't want to be political for sure, but uh, All I See Is War is definitely something that's going on in the world. Uh, may it be uh, like the song dirty i i, I kind of wrote that with being it could have been a, a man or a woman going to the war it could have been a grandma sitting on a, a bus or a train trying to get to her grandkids house and you see things everywhere you know you you see war you see different acts of war you know maybe not somebody blowing something up but you definitely see things going on like uh for instance the picture on uh, the new album you see the kids playing and it's innocent it's, they're having a good time but behind them there's fire and stuff and that kind of sense to me because, you know, I have children and I, my, my daughter goes to school and she comes back and she knows about something that I never would have taught her because this kid Eunice might have said it that's from Russia and is allowed to say things that, you know, that my kids, you know, so you never know what they're going to learn. And so I just feel like it's all around and, and, and maybe one day it'll get better, but it's something we definitely can't hide from. Seven Dust now celebrating their 21st year as a band. And one thing that has remained constant with your sound, my friend, is to be able to pull off heavy and melodic. LJ, you got so much soul in your voice, man, but you guys bring it. It's heavy. So is there one of these qualities that kind of outweighs the Seven Dust sound? And what do you kind of do to balance out the two? I think that's the reason we did this is because I like to come, I come from a school of song and uh blues and r&b and and soul and not being afraid to put that over the heavy uh, heaviest stuff that we have uh and i think that's always been something that we've been able to do and something we'll never stop doing you right know, we uh uh if it ain't broke we ain't trying to fix it so that's just something that's us and and you know we still hadn't had anyone try to come in and change that and we, we wouldn't allow that at this point well john witherspoon is with us today their new album all i see is war coming out may 11th lj it's our carolina rebellion special this weekend look around man outside your tour bus there's all these amazing bands and people and these festivals you just gotta love it right they're exciting man i remember the, i remember the days of like the oz fest and lollapalooza things yeah. like that those to me were movements and i feel like you know danny wimmer and all the guys are out there putting on these big festivals it, it's a movement uh you can't ignore or deny when you have 20 to thirty thousand kids coming out to enjoy music and nothing bad happens and it's just a bunch of people having a good time uh, right it's it's incredible to be a part of uh it's fun and exciting for me to see so many of my peers in bands that I normally wouldn't get to see because we're out here working to play together and uh, it's always an eclectic you know group of people and bands and I, I have a great time I, I I hope that these things don't stop uh, you know and they keep doing keep going forward and hopefully one day I can put together a tour that you know that continues you know f- uh, for for time Brent Smith after about the second or third song in their set, always takes a little time to just chat with the audience to kind of break the ice, if you will. LeJohn Witherspoon of Seven Dust, do you do the same, man? Do you want to make everyone feel like it's uh, it's a gathering of a lot of love, if you will? Oh, we come out full force, but I definitely take a break and uh, 
and reflect and and a lot of times I like to let them know that if it wasn't for them that we still wouldn't be here right. so God bless them you know and I can never take this for granted but oh yeah I get personal with everybody you know I, I definitely because now I I look in the crowd and I see that 21 year old kid that was 21 when I was 21 when we signed this record deal years ago and uh now he has three kids and now his kids have kids <laughs> and they're all at the show and right there's now there's this little five-year-old kid <laughs> with headphones on yeah you know this now his grandkid and they're and it's beautiful for me to see it's like it's overwhelming at times you know I, and i always take back and say something about that when i see it it's the big carolina rebellion weekend i'm so glad i got to spend it on seven dust tour bus lejon witherspoon 10 times man that's awesome for you being here this is the 10th interview we've, we've done 10th one so we should get like some type of man you should get like some type of little plaque we should we you know, should be cool we should a picture of us together exactly. be like Exactly. We've done this for years right. with family. We're going to have to do a selfie when we wrap up <laughs> right the interview, on. my friend. It's a pleasure, Mr. Lord, to always you see you, brother.